Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to another episode of The Waystone. Today, we are back here at the Waystone Tower area. We've done some work uh, off camera, Lama and I have, we, and I don't know if not if not Dov has actually worked on it a bit. Um, but I've been doing some landscaping stuff, added a little bit more of the dirt like we did over there, uh, added some over here, uh, and still working on it a bit. Those need to be connected up with a bush up top, but that's okay. Um, and we have, or I went through and decked this out. Uh, so I did some texture variation and added a bunch of this stuff down here. Um, I haven't done anything down there. And uh, we, yeah, it's it's really cool. I really, this underwater stuff is just so sweet. Uh, and currently we are putting the fi finishing touches on this little bridge. So before we had this little derp bridge, uh, that was just slabs that went up and how did I pick that up? Oh, I have my offhand. Of it. Okay. Uh, and so llama did some work on it and it was it certainly wasn't bad or anything. I didn't think I was just wanting to try and improve it and, uh, try and make it even more fitting of the area. I don't know. It just seemed like there was so much detail in the, how do I have two extra? Oh, oh, oh. It seemed a little bit fitting, uh, like it wasn't totally fitting the area. Uh, just because like this is so detailed, this is good, this is like all super detailed. And then it was a very simple bridge. And I really did like, it was like really simple and really nice. Uh, originally it was the just the slabs with trap doors. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe having like a guardrail with slabs uh, to highlight kind of the bridge would be better would be like not necessarily better but like make it all that more of an interesting bridge um, rather than a really unique simple bridge if that makes sense I don't know I hopefully that doesn't sound like a rag on llama certainly am not degrading anything about llama's work he definitely I mean he built that freaking tree the, the dude can build he's fantastic um but we both had derped around with trying to figure out this bridge a little bit. And so this idea kind of came to me. And so I thought, man, might as well put it in. I uh, can always put it back if he doesn't like it. So, Lama, if you're watching this, more than free, more than welcome to change this back. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be working today a bit. Uh, not on this area, but I do want to swim through because I like swimming through it. Before we swim, actually, if you can hear, there's a... Wait. There it is. That was a fanny bird. I'm going to turn my volume. I had to actually turn it all the way back up just because I couldn't hear a thing. Um, so that is fanny bird. And that's because I managed to capture a fanny bird in a, a phantom. If you don't know what fanny bird is, I managed to capture a fanny bird in our <laughs> house so he is now paying the rent and dealing with that do i have anything in here i want eh, i may want that stuff but i can come back and get it it's whatever so yeah it's uh right here his name is fanny bird hi fanny bird he does try and attack you but he's kind of stuck uh yeah and oh and i decked this place out a little bit added a little sink here with some bushes and or plants or what have you i uh, added a little table and then up here is very boring there's nothing up here uh, but yeah, so that that's this house all done and dusted. It seems like you guys like this house. Like, it's really simple, but I like it. I think it's pretty neat, honestly. It, it was a fun experiment. I, I This is like, if you can experiment with houses, definitely do it. Um, definitely experiment and try and do some fun stuff because it's really, really cool. Also, if you haven't seen Canelia's video on this house, it's freaking a freaking cool house. Like, it's got an... A, like fish tank up there super cool super super cool so if you haven't ever watched canelia i would highly recommend her she's got some really cool content makes some really cool houses i think she's going for a steampunk if i remember correctly uh sort of build style and i mean this this definitely to me looks like steampunk i think it does um just like it's just like the thin and then thick and i don't know i think it's really cool um but yeah, definitely check her out. I'll put a link in the description for her um, because she's definitely super cool and super great at building. Um, so check her out. Today we are going to be working on this 
cave area. So we're going to be trying to finish off this cave, make it really cool, really neat, uh, and have this kind of build style going on, have the ceiling all decked out, have this uh, granite, and this mixture. Uh, one of you did suggest to put jungle wood. I forget who. Uh, it's going to irk me if I can't remember. Hopefully, ooh, man, if you guys heard that, that was my neck. My neck just popped like a freaking madman. Uh, but we're going to maybe try mixing jungle wood in, but I don't think I'm going to actually mix it in. Oh, also, freaking the stripped logs. <laughs> super annoying uh sometimes super annoying really cool super annoying um <laughs> but we i don't think i'm going to try that here uh because this is supposed to be stone very stone based and so that i want to stick with stone materials uh even the bricks is a bit of a stretch uh but it is a, a stone a hard material um the jungle wood i love that idea uh and i think it would go really well i i think you're spot on with that uh, suggestion but I think we're going to incorporate that more into our area, our main base area. Um, that So I'm going to hold on to that, and I will uh, bring that back up and bring that back in to the idea in a little bit once we start our little area. So what are we going to do here? Uh, well, I think I'm going to change up the variation here because we're going to have andesite veins uh, like these two. Uh, we're gonna have andesite veins, so I don't want to have andesite mixed in this area. Not, I, I just, I think we can find a different, like maybe concrete powder or something. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Um, and so, anything in there? Stone and nothing. Okay. Um, and so, what are we gonna do? Well, I want to. I'm not sure. Or, this is just gonna be a staircase. Maybe a little sitting area here. We're gonna deck out the ceiling. Uh, this area, I'm not sure. I think I might put like some bookshelves and stuff here, like make this kind of a library section. Maybe I'll bust this wall back just like a little bit so you have a room for sitting and a room for walking. And then down here, I have no idea. What I was thinking, I have a few ideas, but I'd like your input. So I'm going to come up with three ideas. And I'm going to do a new thing. I'm going to try and do a poll in the video. And so hopefully you see the little poll thingamajigging. And I think it'll be in the top right corner uh, right around now. And you can vote on what you would like to be put down here. And we'll try and do that in the next few episodes. Uh, I think that'll be fun. It'll be a good way for you guys to be able to be a part of this series. Because I definitely want that. So yeah, let me gather materials, get sorted out, and then we'll jump right on into this. I think I'm going to do a texture variation here first and come up with a good variation uh, and then bring it back to you guys once I have that, and then we'll just go from there. So yeah, let me get to work. So I am actually going to steal this boat to show you. That's Waffle Stick's little island. He has a fun little island. Uh, the base that he's building is down below. Uh, very cool, but I'm going to go and take you, I thought this would be a good time to show you exactly where we are building our base, because I need to go over there to get some wood, because I have been growing a lot of spruce wood over there, because now spruce changes grass to podzol, and I want the area pretty much covered in podzol. Um, so you can see, we've got crazy hills and stuff, I think the best way to get over here, yeah, is over here. So we've got this huge mountain range, like huge mountain range it's massive and you can see that i've already built some stuff there so this is just like a small bit of it it's pretty fantastic it's really really cool i think it's gonna be really fun uh what drew me to this place was well one this is cool but the main thing that drew me how do i get up i forget how i get up i think right here the main thing that drew me is actually a little ways away fall down it's uh this really cool cavey formation um so up here i've made a little house just because um i've got some oak trees but then yeah, i've got a ton of different just a bunch of variety of trees um let's look at the little house i like this little <laughs> little house it's fun i like like it's very quaint there's a bunch of random stuff in it. I, I don't know. I like it. I think it's fun. 
What else is in here? Okay, we got some wood already. Cobble, stone, random things. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a fun little house. That's where I put my valuables when I AFK to make the trees, these trees grow a little bit because I don't feel like I don't have bone meal. Um, but the main place, main thing that like really drew me into this area is one, this area is pretty cool. I think this is going to be a really fun place to do stuff. Um, because you've got like that crazy depth right there. We could have some like br a bridge or something that goes up to like some cliff side houses. I don't know. Um, that was just an idea just off the cuff right there. Uh, we also have fun cliffs. We can do a bunch of landscaping esque things, but it's this area, this giant like bay is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this could be a really cool little inlet pirate cave bay thingy i don't know i don't even know so if you want to see i don't know what that sound was uh but it's just like the it, i don't know it's just really cool like it's it's like screaming to be a harbor for me and i have a creative world i'll show you the creative world sometime i don't want to show you too much because uh, I'll show you right now where the main area is. I think the main area of this giant town we're going to make. Or at least I envision it. What the heck? Oh, skeleton. Is this stupid? I was like, what in the world? I thought I heard something before. Um, But yeah, so this is like the first thing that drew me in. But I don't think this is going to be like the main area. Um, I think this is going to be a pirate town. Uh, that's kind of the goal I think that we are going to make. Um, and then let's see, have I already? Yeah, I already made this area like all um, flat. This had some variation and stuff. I tried to make it flat. So this, this is the big area. And I think this, this just to me feels like it's ready for a town. Like sure, I'll do some flattening of different areas and stuff. Like I'll flatten that out and stuff. But it's like this big bowl and I really like that idea. I really think that's cool. You can we could put some like walls up all along the cliff sides, and put some towers. And this uh, the palace is gonna be awesome. I think the palace is gonna be like one of my favorite builds to date because I have made it fully in a creative world because I was experimenting with style, and I gotta say, it's really cool. Um, it's going to be really fun. It's going to take a lot, a lot of resources. But yeah, this is that. Yeah, this is right above that Bay Area. And then uh, one thing that we are going to be doing hopefully soon. Actually, I'm not going to tell you about that. Psych. Never mind. I want to keep it a little secret. Uh, it deals with phantoms, and hopefully I can get some guys to, and gal, if Canelia wants to help, she can, um, get a little collab going on uh, for something that's near here i don't want it like right near because it'll be really annoying to have uh right near but i wanted to show you guys this um and so expect fun stuff in the future uh hopefully some more collab stuff and i think that'll be really fun so without further ado i'm gonna chop all this wood down get a lot of wood because we need some wood for the idea i have for the floor retexture uh so yeah i'll get back to work all right, guys, so I have finished up the pathway and it is looking good. I think I, I, I like it. I definitely made a big change instead of stone. Since we have all those stone veins and stuff, I decided to go with a little dirtier. And so I would put some podzel and path block and incorporated some of the stripped wood um, into the pathway. And I honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Like I have some of these planks intermittently around and... I, th I think it looks pretty decent. Um, it definitely differentiates the floor from the walls and makes it a little bit more interesting. And we're going to texture and variate the walls. Uh, that will come a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, so right here, I stopped using oak planks um, here just because I think I'm going to add some on the flat areas. But here, I'm not going to add as many because we have stairs and that's kind of you get the oak feel from that. Uh, but these flat areas, definitely. I changed the, the floor a bit. Uh, so this is actually going to be very similar to what we're going to be doing in our main area. Um, 
not this, this. Because I really like what granite looks like for pathways. I think it looks really good. Uh, we are going to be doing a little bit different of a palette, but we will have path block podzle very prevalent. And then there's going to be a stripped log, but probably going to do um, jungle wood because jungle wood has a pink hue to it, which will go really well with the granite. And not sure if we'll actually use the uh, we'll probably just use more path block than anything uh, rather than a wood type um, but yeah so i changed that out and i think that looks good it helps also because i was trying really trying to figure out as you can see i was trying to figure out a wall sort of design to make wall texture and i was having a really hard time um with differentiating the floor and the wall and so i i found that the issue was that the floor was very gray still with the cobblestone basically floor was turning into the same color as the wall and it wasn't very good uh, so i decided to make some changes with that uh, so i think that's pretty good uh, what i wanted to work on was this little area here um, i know i was gonna try and get this entire cave thing done but i don't think that's really realistic anymore because Today was ended up being a really awful day to record, and I have not been able to record at all this week. Um, I got Bruin build done early, but then everything kind of just collapsed. Uh, so that was, but it's not, it wasn't like awful, but it wasn't particularly fun. Let's see, stone, we'll put some stone down there, and then what did we want to do? I think what I would like to do is grab some oak stairs if possible and maybe we'll grab slabs too just in case um, i want to get the kind of this little upper area done so what i'm wanting to do is in order to do this we are going to want to put like stone and then we're gonna want to put some sort of cobblestone i think something to differentiate this little area and then what i think we'll do is I think what I'm gonna do is it's I don't want this to be really that um, like symmetrical and so I think we're gonna have a weird bookshelf kind of like this uh, just to mix it up <laughs> if, I don't know I'm I'm trying to branch out a bit and make it so it's not so symmetrical because it is it, it's a cave and so I feel like the whoever's living here would put stuff wherever they could actually put stuff and we're gonna get rid of you and we'll put a piece of stone there and then a slab and so you're like that just adds interest like that's that's decently interesting uh, and then let's put some okay can't actually get that going but let me see cobblestone there we go probably just could have done that in an even easier way and then let's add occasionally i want to add some acacia just because it's gray and it adds another gray i can't do that either I need to just stop <laughs> with the jumping around trying to get to, trying to do stuff and then add a little depth and then add some stone and what i think we'll do is get rid of make that stone and this will do another thing of acacia and then i think what we can do this is probably fine in terms of the ceiling we'll just do a little bit of that and let's grab where's our stairs there they are let's grab this and we'll put a stair right there and there and then right there and then the thing the one thing that you want to do whenever you're actually making ceilings like this at least what i would say you should do is don't have textures like this touching uh try your best not to so try and ha add some depth so there's a little bit of a difference um so it doesn't it just it just kind of looks better and i'm sure you got most of you guys know that but i thought i'd share um and then let's see there's that adds a little just add a little bit of depth everywhere just to make it so it's a little bit nicer and then what you can do is that but we have a stair here 
So we will actually change that up for right there. And we may get rid of some of these in for in favor of uh, some leaves. But for now, we can do that. And then let's add a few walls just occasionally. Uh, interspersed throughout. And how about right here? Because then it'll kind of look like a stalag. I don't know which one it is. Stalactite is what I'm going to go with. It could be stalagmite. I never understand which one's what is what. So, sorry if you are offended at my getting it wrong. If I got it wrong. Don't know if I did. Uh, let's get some podzel down there. Let's get some podzel. And that'll be right here. Yeah. Very good. So, typically, I would extend the... Uh, no, I wouldn't. I'm starting to make up lies. I was going to say I would typically extend, like, keep the wall and keep that there. But I don't think that's what I would do. I wouldn't normally do that. And you know what? Let's not do slabs. That's a little thick. How about... Oh, here's what I like to do. What I found really helps add depth is... Let's... You know, why not? Let's use some of this instead uh, what I found I like to do when it comes to making a desk and since this doesn't need to be like um, you know totally what's it called symmetrical we'll just do that and we will get some okay that didn't work we'll get some of you right like that and then what I found is if you want to make a desk, I always find it interesting to do something like this so that you have like an, a little interest point in the middle. So it kind of looks like it's going up. Uh, I've always found that to be make it a little more interesting. And then what we could do here is add a stair just to extend it and bring it. It's like the more depth you can make, the better your things going to look overall it's like that bridge i showed you at the beginning i think as long as i did that correctly see like that i think is a lot more interesting uh, it just adds a bit more stuff it just makes everything a little bit more interesting we're gonna put a chest since this is more interesting over on this side we'll do a chest there and then we can take the bricks that we've gotten here and take that and we'll go like this make a little potted plant and let's grab some plants oh i also put signs i don't know if i showed you these but yeah this just simple ones my favorite one is uh ne never seen this stuff before uh, because puns are fantastic um let's see what do we what should we put in here hmm hmm hmm, hmm. oh i have so much fish i didn't know that Let's put a, I guess we'll just put a mushroom. Oh, I already have a mushroom. Fantastic. We'll just put a mushroom. Why not? Adds a splash of color. And boop. Oh my. Okay, texture variation is great, but when you change the mushroom size to being that of a fingernail, I, I, I kind of don't think it works as well. Yeah, that looks better. All right, so this area is nice and kind of done. Let's extend this. Um, kind of just want to make like rando shelf things just like in. OK, I didn't mean to break that, but whatever. Just kind of random little grab it shelves uh, like that and then right like that and then like that. Boop. Right, like that. Very good. Okay, and then we're going to do this. And we're actually going to do this. And then uh, you there. Okay, just adding like tiny bits of depth helps tremendously. Like that's way more interesting. And I did hardly, I did honestly did like nothing. So bonus points for doing nothing and making something interesting. Um, but just like random little pockets like that adds so much. All right, no andesite because we don't want andesite to be there. 
We'll do some, we'll do another oak thing and we'll just do stone. Perfect. Actually, we'll do cobblestone if I grab some. I can I do that so often. Like if I don't, I can just like get into my inventory, but I'll just not. Um, but okay, so I think this, like this is going to be kind of the theme. I don't think it's going to be anything particularly crazy. Um, but I think we've gotten a lot, we've gotten a good amount done. Like this is actually taking me a bit because I've had to do a lot of running around and that little excursion actually took a while. And today just ended up not being a really great day for recording. So I'm really sorry about that. <clears throat> and sorry that my throat is giving out on me as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm sorry about the fact that it's just ended up kind of being a poopy day for recording. Um, try and do better next time uh but yeah i think this is gonna have to do it for the episode just because i am kind of running out of time that looks really bad i need to get silk touch how about we do the old stone and stair i don't know how i feel about that we'll leave it uh, so I guess I'll just work on this off camera a bit because it's not really going to be anything spectacular. I think next episode, what we should do is make a plan. We're going to make a plan. So I'll work on this little, this stuff off camera. And what we're going to do next episode is we're going to work on the area down here. So I will, by next episode, have all of this cave section portion done um, up till like this, may, the area I've already done. I'm not going to work on down here because that's going to be, uh, we've got our mine right here. And then this area, I'm not really sure about quite yet. I uh, don't really have plans for it. So this next area is just going to be like typical decoration stuff. And then I think what we're going to have to do uh, going up this is more storage like this. Uh, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So it's mainly going to be ceiling work, like, just like what we did here. Um, so nothing new in that realm. Uh, more, well, actually, no, no, no more path work. Uh, I'll probably try and make an andesite wrap area here, and that'll be just like this, uh, but with andesite instead of diorite or instead of the granite and brick mixture. And uh, this area... Ah, we may save this. I may save this for you guys um, because it's a little unique. But I don't really know. So, again, sorry that this episode's been kind of all over the place. Kind of not really a fabulous episode. Um, hope you, hopefully you like the bridge. Hopefully Llama likes the bridge. Considering I changed his bridge design. <laughs> Without asking him. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Sorry again, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a leave a like in real life, and if you uh, like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.